So it's a couple weeks later and we're back in the garage working on the neon. I got a bunch of parts. I got new headlight gaskets or seals, a new air filter, a bunch of steering parts, uh, new control arms, new struts, new uh, control arms for the rear. And uh, valve cover gasket. And I went ahead and powder coated uh, the steering knuckle. Press a new bearing in there. So it's gonna look pretty good once I uh, get all these parts changed out and put back on. Plan on doing uh, slotted and drilled front brakes. And uh, later on down the road, I'll take the caliper part powder coat that same with some parts on the rear here I will go ahead and powder coat that but yeah let's go ahead and throw some parts on her so give you guys a update I got the new strut in and the knuckle with the axle through there. You can see, do yourself a favor, put anti-seize on everything. Everything that has like a contact surface, put that on. Got the control arm on, the bolt. I put a uh, spack bolt in first, and then like, Shuffled the whole control arm over to get this side in, and the bolt was a pretty big pain in the butt to get slid in that bolt right there. That tab is what keeps the bolt from turning. I got to figure out now what the torque specs are for the axle, the strut bolts, and the control arm. Then uh, upper strut bolts or nuts. So yeah, making pretty decent progress. I still gotta get some parts powder coated over there. The sway bar and the back brackets for those uh, link bars back there. And then uh, I gotta order up new rotors as well, pads and rotors. So yeah. Get the other side to this point as well. Oh, and then I gotta go to Harbor Freight and get tie rod inner, um, the inner tool. That This is the tie rod inner right here. There's nothing wrong with it, but just since I'm already this far, I think they're only like 10 bucks a side on Rock Auto. So, yeah, pretty decent progress. This is the progress I got. Everything's bolted in. Like I said, I'm still gonna replace those tie rods. Um, I just hit that. The impacts, my torque wrench only goes 70. It should be fine. Um, same here. I just gave her Give her a lot on the wrench. It'll, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. This car is not going to rattle those loose. I did do uh, 30 foot pounds up here. And then uh, the bolt right here on the ball joint, that was 70. And then uh, go back here. Got the rear arms on. I still got to get the bracket powder coated for that disc back or drum back on. And the new shred in. The backs are really easy. I'm going to have to get this car aligned, obviously, once all this stuff is uh, put back on, ready to go. And then probably buy some wheels and tires for it next. So I'm changing the valve cover gasket out. This is a new one, the 
previous owner said that he changed it out, but it was leaking, and I could tell that as RTV. But please do not be this guy. This wasn't even in in right at all. But luckily, looking at the engine, it's pretty clean. So I'm happy with that. Fix this oil leak up a little bit. And uh, I ordered a valve cover. It's another 420A engine, but it's from uh, Eagle, Eagle Talon. And it says uh, 2.0. Uh, it has all the lettering on it and whatnot. So get that changed out. Oh, and then I'm gonna powder coat the new valve cover once I get it, but uh, trying to take care of this leak. These, these seals are pretty cheap, I think. The kit that I got right here off Rock Auto. It's a Molly gasket set. I think it was only like 10 bucks maybe. It comes with everything. So we'll get that changed out and uh, hopefully no more leaks for the time being. So I got the valve cover on. Should probably go through it real quick. It was just a few bolts here, 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 one in here, one over here. And then three on the back as well. You just gotta take the coil off and the plug wires out. Put a new intake on, cause with the exhaust manifold, the factory one, uh, the bracket hits it. So I had to buy this one off of eBay. I think it was like $60. Um, I was going to buy a can end filter, cause this one's like all metal. And I don't know, I should probably buy like a sock to put over it, but it's right up against the header. Like it's sitting on the header. So I don't know, I try to figure something different out or maybe cut it back here so it's away from it. Something like that. But I'll powder coat that as well. But that that's how you do the, uh, valve cover gasket pretty easy just put the new one on i put a couple dabs of uh rtv in the corner at the 90s just so it'd seal up just a couple spots now i'm going to be working on the tie rods i got a harbor freight tool kit so you gotta get the inner tie rod off i got this outer tie rod loose you see how I have it in the spindle or knuckle or whatever? Just loosen up this nut and then this uh, collar slides off and it allows you to be able to spin this uh, tie rod end. And then uh, I ended up getting my brakes in so I'll be replacing the brakes right after I get these tie rods done. But I'm gonna take a quick measurement for reference of where it is now. So I could put the newer setup pretty close. Uh, so it's not too far off driving it to go get an alignment. So here's the setup of the old inner tie rod. You gotta have this tool. You will not be able to get a wrench into that area and be able to turn it. Got this at Harbor Freight. You, uh, We'll load the right size uh, die, whatever, onto here. Here's the, the new one. So you'll load this into here. Get it locked in here. Put onto there. You'll get the new one in. Try not to destroy this boot. This uh, little air vent was a pain in the butt to get off. You'll put this back on once you get the new tie rod in. And then uh, get your clamp on here. And then put your jam nuts on it for your outers. It's, uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But 
once you get it off, it isn't too bad, but yeah. So now you can see, got new rotors and pads. I got slotted and drilled. Got the pads in there. I got to really fix that caliper, paint it up. It's uh, looking pretty crusty. But I got the inner and outer tie rods in. Uh, these are the Moogs. You see how I have that clip back on. Got the castle nut down there with the cotter pin in it. Um, the only thing I'm waiting on is parts from powder coat. I'm waiting on the sway bar and the sway bar uh, brackets that hold it on. I'm having them powder coat the same green as this. And then uh, a couple parts for the rear end. But not too bad with uh, the tie rods and the brakes. I didn't have a C-clamp, so I just used this ball joint press to press the... Uh, the brake caliper back so I could gain some, uh, you know, room for the new pads. And then, uh, like I said, Harbor Freight tie rod, inner tie rod tool. You're gonna need that. Um, what else was a pain in the butt with this? Basically just getting that, uh, that dust boot off was the biggest pain in the butt. And you're gonna have to destroy this clamp that holds it on it's non-reusable I got a wire uh, wire tie wire to tie it and if that doesn't work or turn out good I got uh, hose clamps to hold that dust boot on to the rack so yep so I'm gonna do a quick recap for this video of the progress we've made on the 98 Dodge Neon um, I've messed around with this hood a little bit, trying to polish it out. It is a lot better than what it was, but this car has had a respray on it, and the respray is absolutely trash. And this paint, obviously, is trash. You can see on my pads how it just picks up all that, I guess you could say, dead layer of paint, and it just clogs the pads right up and can't really make much progress because it just makes swirls you can see right here how it's swirl city but it's a lot better than what it was uh, this is the second time i cleaned the pads and came back down here and tried to get it to clean up but i'll give you a you kind of see the fender this is a how it was before to what the hood is now. It's uh, a lot better, but still trash. But uh, moving to all the suspension parts, just recapping, got the new struts, the powder coated spindle knuckle, whatever you want to call it, new, uh, Disc brakes, slaughtered and drilled, new pads. Eventually, I'm going to powder coat the caliper, but I'm not where my powder coating setup is, so this will have to happen at a later time. Got the tie rods, inner and outer, the control arm, got the boot back on. Same as uh, the other side. I'm still waiting, like I said, on the sway bar, the clips to hold the sway bar in, and a couple parts on the rear to come back from powder coat. Here's uh, the rear. It's the same on the other side. Got the new strut in control arms or whatever you want to call them. I'm waiting for the arm that goes right here to come back from powder coat and the bracket for it. And didn't do anything with the rear brakes because they were still fine. Um, pop the hood for you guys.
We have the new valve cover gasket in. Like I said, I have a new valve cover coming that I ordered off of eBay. It has uh, the dual overhead cam lettering with the 2.0. Have the new eBay intake. Uh, I had put a new coil pack on it. The exhaust manifold, got that on there. Um, that's basically it for under the hood so far. I have a box of AMS oil somewhere around here that I'm going to be changing all the fluids out. I got this uh, engine and transmission fluid uh, flush for the transmission and the engine. And then I have uh, trans oil, uh, oil fluid and then some new engine oil for it. So that's the update on the car so far. I still have to order up some wheels and tires, get rid of those uh, stalkers. Speakers, I need to do door speakers because those are blown. And then this car has rear speakers back here, six by nines that need to be replaced. Um, be moving to that later on once I get this car running and driving. We'll have to get an alignment and also connect the exhaust, the downpipe to the rest of the exhaust. Um, but yeah, that's basically the update on the car waiting on uh waiting on parts can't do much more um got some cassette tapes the radio works perfectly fine found this two live crew in one of my buddy's trucks that he bought uh and it works works fine i gotta find a air vent right here the car didn't have one when i purchased it i haven't looked at any junkyards yet but I can't find any on eBay or online. This is what it would look like, just obviously the other side. And then also I gotta do something with the sunroof because when I hit the, the button, I think the guy messed around with it because in the advertisement, the photo, and then it showed like the headliner down a little bit. Um, and then this button isn't, sitting where it needs to be either but when i push the button like the track moves but only one side moves so i think something's binding up and i just gotta take that apart real quick and figure it out but that'll do it for this video guys uh, once i get some parts back make some progress give you guys another update